In this video, we will be comparing the three object detection models that are most commonly used in computer vision. The comparison is based on three categories, speed, accuracy and ease of implementation. Speed or basically how fast the model can give the results, accuracy that is how accurate those results are and third is the ease of implementation that is how easy it is to implement these models and get started. So what models are we basically going to compare? In this video, we will be comparing the three most common models that are YOLO, SSD and faster RCN. There are other models as well, but we will be focusing only on these three. So the first criteria of comparison was speed of inference. That is how fast a model can give results. In here, we have a clear loser. That is the faster RCN. Now it is important to remember that faster RCNN comes from the RCNN family, which are two short detectors. Now you may ask what are these two short detectors? Well, it basically means that the algorithm takes a look at the image twice, once for extracting the features from the backbone network and the other for calculating the reason proposals. Even though the faster RCNN takes a bit different approach from other RCNN models, it is still slow. The best it can do on one GPU is 7 FPS, which is way below real time. So on the other hand, we have SSD and YOLO, which are single shot detectors, which means they take only one look at the image and predict the output. Both the YOLO and SSD algorithm were designed to work in real time and also work on smaller devices like mobile phones and IoT. Hence the speed of both YOLO and SSD is quite high compared to faster RCN. Now let's talk about the second criteria of comparison, which was accuracy of the models. On this criteria, I would say that the three models are kind of comparable, but it is also important to note that all these models have some problem of their own. It is generally true that SSD and YOLO give higher speeds, but they also come with certain problems when it comes to accuracy. For example, SSD is poor at detecting objects that are way smaller in size. YOLO also has a problem in detecting objects when two objects are very close to each other in an image. It is also true that the problems of YOLO and SSD can be tackled with some modifications to the architecture. However, this comes at the cost of speed. However, faster RCNN gives good enough results. But all in all, it can be said that all three models are kind of comparable when it comes to accuracy. After seeing the comparisons till now, you might be convinced that there is a close match between YOLO and SSD. And honestly, this is kind of true because all the articles and papers I read, all of them favored YOLO and SSD with SSD having a bit more advantage over YOLO. However, when we take into account the third consideration, that is ease of implementation, the story kind of changes. Now, when I talk about ease of implementation, what I basically mean is two things. Number one, the framework or package required to use the model. And number two, the number of lines of code that is required to write the smallest program using the model. Both these criteria are important because not everybody is familiar with all those frameworks and almost all of us want to get our job done while writing least amount of code. Let's first talk about the easier scenario. Let's say you just want to use a model and don't want to fine tune it on a custom data set. In that case, just knowing OpenCV and Python would do. The reason for that is very simple. OpenCV provides a DNN module which supports both YOLO and SSD, which means that you don't have to learn PyTorch or TensorFlow for using YOLO or SSD. OpenCV also allows you to use masked RCNN, which is just like faster RCNN plus segmentation, which means you can use faster RCNN by just using masked RCNN and removing the segmentation part. It's very easy. So if you don't want to fine tune a model, then you don't have to learn PyTorch or TensorFlow. You can always use only OpenCV and Python and get your work done. Let's say you have your own data set now and you want to fine tune a model and use it for your own object detection project. In that case, YOLO is a clear winner. I would also say that if you have your data in a proper format, you can fine tune a YOLO model with just one line of CLI code. Apart from this, you can also use Ultralytics YOLO V8 and with this you can fine tune your YOLO model in two to three lines of code. But when it comes to fine tuning SSD or faster RCNN, even though it is possible to do it in Python, the only reliable implementations that I have seen were in PyTorch or TensorFlow. So if you have your own data set to work with and you are not going to use YOLO, then in any case you have to learn PyTorch or TensorFlow. Now let's talk about the least number of lines of code that you need to write in order to get your object detection model work. So again, assuming you don't have to do any fine tuning on a custom data set, the minimum number of lines of code required for faster RCNN and SSD is going to be somewhere around 10 to 15 lines. For YOLO, it's going to be either two or three lines. Now, assuming you have your own data set and want to do fine tuning, then SSD and faster RCNN will take anything more than 25 lines. But with YOLO Ultralytics V8, it will take less than five to six lines. So if you talk about the overall comparison, the clear winner is YOLO with SSD at the second position 
and faster RCNN at third. I have videos for fine tuning and inferring on all the models on my channel. I hope you understood the video and bye.